Hi, and welcome to day one of STEAM. This class is going to teach you about the materials that are here and available to you in our STEAM room um, and how we will be doing assignments in STEAM. Um, you can access the Google Classroom and you can see that it's not like all other Google Classrooms because there is no work, there are no assignments. Um, this is used for information and material only. Um, I do ask that you don't comment in the feed um, that you only, um, email me or private message me. Um, you'll see information in our bar. Um, that starts with with the cycle that we're in, the class period we're in, and the grade we're in. So this one reads cycle three, period two, grade seven. And it tells you the time that class goes from. The next thing that you can focus on is that there is a link to the Zoom room in the stream. Um, that usually is the only thing in the stream unless I have an important message for you. Okay. The thing you'll see is that the Classworks tab is important for this class. Um, you'll see alphabetically on the side what kind of items are found here. You have how-to tutorials to help you when you need to know how to do something if you forget, like take a screenshot on your Chromebook, change your Google notifications. Late work form, if you ever turn in any assignment late in class, you may submit it um, for half credit, but you also submit a late work form. And you have recorded lessons in case you don't find them in our um, Schoology room. You can find them here. And then because we're using a new platform called Schoology um, that some people might not be familiar with, I know my seventh and eighth graders use it um, occasionally, but if you're not familiar with it, um, these are some how-tos to remind you of different features in Schoology. There is our tech survey. And finally, we have a Zoom meeting room uh, link as well in the Classworks tab. So that covers the Classworks tab. Now we're going to move to our other platform, which is Schoology. Moving to Schoology, the first place I have to go is to the district website. So k12.org. I'm going to navigate to parent. I have two places I can go. The gray page of links has a place that I can access Schoology if I go to the gray page. And then I go to middle school and I go to Schoology for students. Or shorter is to go right from the district page under parent and students. There's a link to Schoology. I must always go from the district site. Um, if I type in just Schoology.com, it will not work. Um, you could bookmark it to your bookmarks bar by clicking on this star at the address. Um, and that way you can bookmark it to your screen. We are signing in with our Google accounts. We are signing in with our Google accounts. I am doing one for a student so that I can show you exactly what it looks like. from the student perspective. So you log in using your Google information. You will see your name up here, okay? You'll see courses, groups, resources. The first button we're gonna click on is courses, okay? You may see STEAM down here, it depends. If you don't see STEAM, and even if you do, in order to move me, um, you're gonna go to My Courses. You're gonna click Reorder right here in gray. And you're gonna scroll down to where you find STEAM and drag, oh, I dropped it. You're gonna click Hold and drag her again. Click hold and drag. There we go. All the way to the top above art. And this way, X out. On the X. 
This way, when you go to courses now, their STEAM will be the very first thing you see um, as we will use it every day. Um, any of your other courses who use it might have their symbol there um, that you can see, um, but here is right where we will access it. So what you're gonna do is click on the course. Okay. You'll see the week one folder, which is where we are. Every day will be numbered. You'll see that on day one, introduction to STEAM class, with a focus on introducing Schoology. And you'll see numbered items in the folder on how you're supposed to approach them. Um, so you have two types of activities. These are quizzes that have the check marks. Um, and the attendance item always has a heart. It's like if you've ever played a video game and you lose all your lives, um, that's kind of why I use the heart icon to represent the attendance check daily. So every day you will have an attendance item that you must complete for attendance. Um, and then you'll have other things in the folder that you must complete as well. You will always find the instructions and video in the first item. There will be a link to a video right here. It's not linked yet as I'm filming it, um, but typically you'll find the video linked right here. It'll tell you to watch the video if you have not completed um, the lesson in class or if you missed something or you need extra help. Um, today, what it's telling you to do is that you're gonna take the text survey, which you're clicking here to take, or there's a link in the quiz as well to it. You're gonna then take the text survey completion quiz telling Ms. Watts that you answered the quiz. You're going to open the how-to folder and watch the eight tutorials. You then take the quiz saying that you complete all eight. And then there's the attendance check for the day. So going back to the folder. And it's nice and Schoology. Everything is linked so you can navigate right back to the folder by clicking on the navigation up here. If I want to go back to week one, I would just click on that link and back to the whole course as general, back to that link. I am now um, saying I need to take the text survey. I clicked on the link in my instructions to the text survey. It opens it up for me. I fill it in. Then I come back to Schoology. And I go back to the day one folder and I take the I finish the text survey quiz. I then go into the black folder, number three, called how to. Uh, the instructions are right here telling me to watch all the videos. They're very short, so don't be alarmed. They're just basic things, knowing how to change and do in Schoology and in Google. Okay, so you watch the tutorials. You then navigate back to the day one folder using the link. And then you do the completion tutorials quiz saying you watch the tutorials. And then you have the attendance check. My attendance check is always a cute, Miss um, Johnson actually, if you've come from Miss Johnson, uh, she stole mine, I made her hers. Um, it is where's Miss Watts, I made Miss Johnson her sign. Um, so Miss Watts is in different places around Shippensburg. Uh, so today she is on day one at the Giant. So you just type giant into the blank um, and that will get you your point for attendance. If you spell it wrong, you can keep taking the quiz until you spell it right. Um, but the important part is that you submit that quiz each and every day to get your attendance present, okay? So I hope that helped um, you become familiar with Schoology. Um, we will be using it every day, um, so make sure you do practice and you watch all the important tutorials, okay? Have a great first day in your exploratories and a great day at school.